Good morning vlog, and today we're doing something a bit different. Well, not really, but I mean, we're doing all the normal travel tours and stuff. We're going down to the waterfront at ne in, in Nice and seeing a bunch of stuff. Sorry if the noise is on. What? Sorry if there's noise, the fan is on. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm on too. Okay. Anyway, um, we're having yogurt. We went to the grocery store yesterday and they have yogurt in these glass jars. And I think the glass jars are really nice because it's not plastic, which is kind of cool. Um, what do you think of it? Tasty. Cool. So I'm going to try it. And hopefully I like it as much. And then after that, we're going to start heading out and start our day. Before we head out, um, I'm just going to show you the Airbnb we're staying in. Because I can't remember if I did or not. But um, here we go. This is the front door, the bathroom, all my stuff hanging. And then you look, and this is the this is the main room. There you go. It's focused. It's not very big, but I really, really like it. Like this could be possibly my favorite Airbnb that we've stayed in. Um, so I, I would love it even more if there's air conditioning, but Europe doesn't really have air conditioning. So we have our fan. We have this little couch here, which okay. For size reference, my wallet and my um, sunglass case and my bag of um, wet. No, liquids, there we go. We have some food that we bought in this little kitchenette. Um, we have my, in the fridge, my leftover pasta that I made in the pot and some yogurt and some grapes. Um, got a bunch of messiness over here. This is the window and actually the window's technically open. My laundry in front of it, don't mind that. Um, but to open this window even more, you go like this, and then... That's our view. It's really not that exciting, which is why we keep it closed, because, um, yeah. It's just a parking lot, and if we leave it open, it's just going to get really hot in here, and we're going to get bugs in here, so... Even though they can come through this slat, they usually don't, and... It's enough ventilation that we're okay with it. So that's why it's weirdly dim in here, even though it's like early in the day. So put my, my drying clothes back, got my pajamas and my shorts and stuff. And that's our light. And up there is the loft. So let's go up there. Oh, that's the TV, but nobody uses that. Let's go up there. The only thing I don't like about these stairs is that they're slanted downwards. So going up is okay, but coming down is a bit of a tricky thing so that you don't like fall off and yeah because uh it's a mess up here but that's the bed all my stuff is over there but yeah it's saying it's a mess because um these are all slanted downwards so if you fall you'll fall into the tv or into the table there's no real room to uh maneuver yourself um yeah so this is the loft area up here um these lights turn on with a little switch over there, and we have a fan up here as well. Um, the ceilings are really pretty, and I really just love the way the the um, the way that the light shines on everything. I think it's really cool, and the patterns it makes with the light. Um, but yeah, that's our Airbnb. I love sitting on this step up here because. And you get this vantage point, you get to see everything going on down below you. As super random as that is. But yeah, that is the Airbnb we're staying in. It is really nice. Um, and I really love this loft style, so yeah. So we're walking, and this is the place from yesterday that I forgot to film. It's almost across the street. It's a little bit, so that's the train station down there. It's just a little ways down the street from the train station. And that is the place that has the delicious stuff that everyone needs to go see. It's right across the street from the Chinese fast food place. Frozo's twin. Incredibles, anyone? Huh? Huh? Okay, so we're coming up on our first stop. You see this Acropolis, right? It's all nice and stuff. And then you turn and what is this? 
So this is in fact our first stop of the day. Our first stop is called the Tete Carré, and it basically translates to the square head. So we're gonna go around the front of it and actually see it, but that's what it looks like from the back. front and uh, I'm gonna try and point stuff out this one's kind of in my face but down there is the chin and then up there is the square hence the square head I'm gonna try and move out a bit there I hope you can see it because I really can't see what I'm filming something kind of cool about these is that um, the above and below the windows is painted on the buildings even though from a distance it looks like it's real but it's just a really good painting it goes all along the building and even it goes across the street and across the street here too so I don't know I think it's kind of cool So back there is the hill we gotta climb, but I just wanted to pause because this view, it is gorgeous and I love it. So I'm vlogging on the big camera now, so pardon the uh, quality. My small camera is acting up and doing some funky things and deleting whatever I record, which is annoying. So, before I'm able to actually look at that, I want to pull <laughs> take a look at this. Just, just the name, Hobo Lassi, at none other than Hobo Coffee. And this, pardon the spinning, was right after we went over there. Whoa, focus please. Uh, over there is like a little clearing area and yeah so now we're walking to our next stop just oh there's another there's another joke okay I'm done now came across this cool shop you're probably like why is it cool and my reasoning is look at this dress can't even see it because of the glare. Oh no. But they have neat stuff like this necklace, for example. Or those. And that's the detailing on the dress. I don't know. It's just some pretty cool, neat, different stuff. This is the sign outside. Stop zooming and zooming out. Um, that's the name of the shop. But it looks really cool, so I like the vibe. It's like a door from Austria. I love it.
cotton candy because this is a shop that literally goes and makes cotton candy. Hello, hello. So it's our last day in Nice and we're going to the beach because we we're going to go parasailing and then we found out that you can only buy things online and you have to print the vouchers and clearly we don't have a printer on the go so that's not happening um, and then we're looking at a, a bus thingy but that didn't pan out either so now we're just going to the beach and it's nice out so that should be fun what's cool for us is that the beach is just straight down this road like it's not super super close but it's no more than 15 minutes away walking that is um, so we just walked down this main road and we're at the beaches also, our Airbnb is pretty close to the um, train station, like five minutes. Got our food, Whoop. got our food, get that view of that fountain again, and now we're walking over to the beach. So I got my sandwich, which is cucumber and cheese and lettuce and green pepper, pickles and this vegetarian steak thingy, which is like soy and veggies and it looks good. So we're here at the beach and he's got his chicken sandwich or I think it's chicken and there's somebody off parasailing over there, which makes me kind of sad because I really wanted to do that, but it just wasn't in the cards. And so, I'm probably gonna look for a place in Toronto that does it because uh, it looks really cool. Also, my feet are getting dirty just from touching these rocks. And I'm sitting, we brought these travel towels, you can see his, mine's blue. We're sitting on those to try and shield ourselves from all the rocks because otherwise it hurts the bum. And then there's that view over there. It's so nice and I'm probably gonna go walk in the water in a bit. So fun thing about this sandwich is apparently in France they don't have sub sauce or house sauce, or whatever you want to call it. So, this is definitely missing that, but otherwise it's really good. And the veggie patty isn't soy, it's chickpea. So it's actually really good. 